metformin and berberine to heal your gut, anti-age you, stave off wrinkles, stave off cancer, and help you lose weight. So today we're going to have a nice quick discussion on metformin and berberine and what it means for you and your anti-aging protocol. A lot of people who start on metformin, maybe you were put on metformin for insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes, they experience a lot of loose stools and gas and flatulence, a little bit of nausea. Some people will also experience that with berberine. Now, metformin and berberine work pretty much along the same pathways. They have that same really powerful, impactful effect on insulin and hemoglobin A1C and fasting blood glucose. So if you are insulin resistant, and we see this quite often, about 99% of the time with hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's, we see insulin resistance. If you're insulin resistant, you need to be on something to lower that insulin or you will be in a constant fat storage mode. And you will also increase your risk of all age-related disease. So we're finding metformin and berberine are very neuroprotective against Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, any neurodegenerative disease states, very protective on the brain. Now, when we're talking about the gut, we actually have studies out now that show a beneficial effect on gut bacteria, on the gut flora. And this is actually going to tie back into why it's helping you lose weight. It's not just the insulin impact but it's also the gut microflora impact. So when we're testing something like the GI, when we're testing your stool by the GI map, and I've talked about this in past episodes, and I showed you my results of my GI map, there's something called acromancia. And acromancia is very, very important to our metabolism. So when we're finding low acromancia in people, they are more set up for metabolic dysfunction like insulin resistance, and type 2 diabetes. So if you're walking around with low acromancia, you are going to be at a higher risk for weight gain, obesity, type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance. Now, metformin and berberine, which by the way, metformin is the most frequently administered medication to treat patients with type 2 diabetes and has the most amount of studies compared to any other medication on the market. Now we're talking about metformin. Metformin is the prescription. Berberine is the supplement. So when you look at my case study on, we can link that in the show notes, my case study on berberine and a ketogenic diet reversing a patient's insulin-dependent diabetes, we used berberine. Now he was on metformin as well. So we can find as many studies of berberine and metformin working together synergistically, but this we're just talking about the studies on metformin that can be overlapped into berberine. We also use berberine as a gut healing, part of a gut healing protocol. So that would be part of the gut healing protocol. And here's why. Because it alters the gut microbiota composition through the increase in mucin degrading acromancia. So berberine we can use if your GI map comes back with low acromancia and we know that you need it, it's a biofilm disruptor, we know you need acromancia to have a good metabolism, we can use berberine to adjust your gut microflora, your gut flora. We can actually increase the acromancia. So that berberine is gonna have a twofold effect. It's gonna bring down your insulin and your glucose, lower your A1C, allow your body to be more of a fat burning machine rather than a fat storing machine. And it's also going to increase your acromancia, which is also going to improve your metabolism. It also has an effect on several short chain fatty acid microbiota. We need those SCFAs. We need the SCFA producing bacteria in our gut to also have a good metabolism. The gut microbiota participants on metformin and berberine has exerted alterations in gut metabolomics. This is the study of how our gut affects our metabolism with increased ability to produce butyrate and propionate substances involved in glucose homeostasis. So butyrate is also tied to acromancia. You never want low butyrate. I'll tell you right here, I have this 
I have my little notes written down and it's all covered up. Butyrate promotes mucus production. So a lot of times what we'll see people that are very low in prebiotics and probiotics in their gut, their butyrate will be low and thus their acromancia will be low because acromancia thrives on mucus. So low acromancia, lack of mucus, that mucus is important for your intestinal lining. Low acromancia is highly related to poor digestion. And then your butyrate will be low, which means that your polyphenols will be low, your prebiotic and probiotic um, amount in your gut, your good gut flora will be low, and your short chain fatty acids will also be low. And that will actually reduce your immunity, but we're not going to get into that rabbit hole. I want to stick on the topic of your metabolism. So the bottom line is metformin, berberine, we can use this in anti-aging protocols. And I will do more on this because I think it has huge implications moving forward, whether you are dealing with weight that you cannot lose, whether you are just simply in that boat of not wanting to age. If you come from a family like I do of Alzheimer's, and that's the last thing you ever want to go through or put your family through because you've seen it happen, then we need to do things right now to stop that aging process. And if one of them is natural and safe, and we can actually help restore your gut bacteria to a proper beneficial amount, a beneficial balance, then why not use it and get multiple effects from it? So that's why I like berberine. We're going to link in the show notes to the Designs for Health Berberine. That's what I used in my case study when I reversed insulin-dependent diabetes. I used that Designs for Health Berberine with that patient. And I got to tell you, I mean, I see this all the time in patients that we use berberine. You get a little bit of nausea, a little bit of, of loose stool in the beginning, some of you. But if that is the case, you can't just stop. You can't just say, I can't do it. Because what that is telling you is that your gut is messed up and things are starting to balance. So that's one of those signs and symptoms that you want to push through. It's not a sign that you can't take it. It is a sign that your GI tract is a disaster. So if you do take berberine and you get that nausea and loose stool, you probably want to do a GI map because we probably want to see what your balance is, what's going on in there. Is there any you know, E. coli, C. diff, H. pylori, candida. Is there anything hanging out that needs to be addressed? Or you just got to keep pushing through the berberine, keep using it, push through that GI distress because you are rebalancing your gut flora and you're actually helping your metabolism by increasing the acromancia.